hello everyone welcome to another video brought to you by d access and your presenter for this video is taonga tembo and just another reminder is that we are doing a new series which is on powerpoint so i think we're just going to call this series powerpoint i guess so in our powerpoint series i am going to show you how to format the background of your slides and so this helps with designing so basically what i haven't said in my previous two videos is that for powerpoint you need to make it appealing and you have to make it aesthetically pleasing or appealing to the people who you are going to show this powerpoint presentation to so you need to put you need to make it flashy you need to make it look nice and if you want color based and all that you can all you have to do that is also important and that's how you also need to have to edit your background so when you are trying to format the background of your slides so you have to go to the design tab so as you can see this has various designs that your powerpoint that you can use in your powerpoint presentation for it to make aesthetically pleasing and also appealing to the people who are going to be seeing your presentation and so you can go you can first start by looking at the variants these are the various types of slides that you can have on your on your the, the various themes that you can have on your PowerPoint so you can choose these are basic ones they are used all the time so there are different designs now like this one here where you get to put in your title and subtitle right there and there's also this one here as you can see there's just a whole different design and you can choose from any of these and quickly start editing your PowerPoint because this is just the theme all the slides are going to take up this theme that you are going to use but however for the sake of the video we are going to have to format the background of our powerpoint and you do that by going to the format background button just says it to it's just there so you're just going to click on it and a sidebar will pop up and you have these options here so you have the solid fill so solid fill this is like coloring so it's not going to be opaque it's not going to be transparent it's just going to solidly fill and if you have a color in mind in your on your on your mic on your powerpoint it's going to be there and then there's also the gradient fill so as you can see the gradient fill here the solid fill just because it's just white if you want to change the color you can go here and you change the color it's going to be black and if you want to also change the color to something else you can also put such so that's all with it and if you want to go to gradient fill so as you can see gradient fill partially makes it partially colors your slide and now you can also adjust how you can adjust how you want the fade to be so it makes like a fading thing from top to down so you can adjust if you want it all the way down you can do that if you want it slightly half while it's also reaching to the top you can just set that you can also change your color and if you want you can make your gradient feel of the color to be linear radio rectangle path or shade from the title so for radio it makes it diagonal so you can see the white is here and it just goes and the blue it turns so that is how there are various types so you can even go with rectangle and you can also go with a path and as you can see it's the white is centered in the middle and you can also shade from the title only that's why it's going to just show the shade only except for the title so there are also there are many ways you can make it bright you can also increase the transparency if you want it to be transparent you can do that and if you want a picture or texture fill these are all backgrounds that you can use so if you want the texture or picture fill 
here is the only one that is the only texture that's downloaded by word but you can down or oh, by powerpoint but you can download more provided that you have the internet and you can also choose a picture it can be from your pc so this prompt will come and it di direct you to your pictures and you're going to just scroll to the picture that you want and you're going to select the one that you want and from there that will be your picture so that is how you can also format the background in this manner and you can also use patterns and for patterns you can also you can choose the various patterns here so it's just because the color of the pattern was gray that's how come it's not showing but i'm going to choose it to change it to a more the color that's more visible so yes we have that there so there are different types of patterns that you can choose they are all for your liking so whatever you want you just pick it and you can continue editing the background and you can just do that so if you want to apply everything you can just go to apply and you have set your and that is how you now set your background so you can format you can change if you don't like it you can go back and do the same thing and put a solid feel or if you want a picture you can do mostly there's a lot that you can do with it so i am just going to leave it for with the picture because personally i feel the picture was good so i am just going to insert the picture once more and we are going to leave it at that as our background and we are going to apply and you can now leave and you're going to now put in your text whatever you want so this is how you format your background thank you for watching and for more videos please like and subscribe to d access and we are going to help you with all your microsoft office needs so thank you very much for watching and goodbye